good. I'll be so happy to have another friend that's actually doing social media and stuff. And, like, you know what I mean? Like, I literally don't have anybody. Like, that's, that's close to me. Like, that's what I do. I'll be mad if I'm not in any of your videos. Don't play with me. I need to be in my videos. <laughs> What's she pop pop popping y'all? I am back with another video. I'm at the park with my kids. And I actually wasn't even gonna make a video today, but I'm like, let me just come and chat with you guys and tell y'all how I've been really feeling, okay? Um, don't touch it. Come and say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, y'all, we're here. We are at the park, like I said, okay? Anyways, let me shut up. I said I wanted to talk to you guys. I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about how I feel. Because like, I've been feeling all over the place lately. Um, if you don't know, we just recently moved. Um, and this decision was great. Like, we, the decision was needed, was necessary, was a good decision, whatever. But I think, like, the time that it came is crazy. Because right now, like, right now I'm still grieving. Um, no, don't I'm gonna sit down because I feel like I'm all over the place. Hold on. Okay, so I was just trying to find a comfortable spot to talk to you guys because I wanted to share just like how I've been really feeling. Like I said, we just recently moved. Um, but right before the move, like I lost my grandmother and my grandmother was the person in my life that she was the person in my... Uh-oh. Hold on, y'all. Oh, geez. I can't even get into my video. Like... So I'm literally walking away from the park because even that, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break down how I'm feeling and like that, even what just happened right now is like, I can barely handle anything. Like, <laughs> I'm like literally on the verge of tears. I'm literally on the verge of tears all the time right now. Um, this is attempt number, what, three? This is attempt number three to make this video. I... Hold on, look at this guy coming here. Why are you coming over here, buddy? It's gonna be attempt number four. So, um, yeah, attempt number 15 million hundred, y'all. Um, so yeah, we recently moved, and right before we moved, like I said, I lost my grandmother. Um, my mm -hmm. grandma was the one person in my life that was like always there for me, literally showed me unconditional love. She's just like the one person that I could really call on. I could and like every single time I called her and talked to her to tell her what was going on with me she had like all the time in the world for me she just was literally I feel like the only person that loved me unconditionally like literally the only person that I really feel like that about and so the loss has just been really it's been a lot <laughs> see this is what i'm talking about literally i'm so fucking just like i'm so high strung i'm like i'm just on the verge i'm just on the verge and it's like the stuff that i can usually deal with i cannot deal with right now i just can't i cannot i'm just like boiling over it's like the loss of my grandmother's move there's just so much happening and i'm just like i don't know i just need to find like time for myself because I'm literally just like feeling like I'm drowning in my kids and it's it's really difficult and you know all moms have times like this and I feel like usually I'm the mom that can handle everything and it's just like right now I can't I can't I literally just cannot I cannot I cannot I cannot hi hi Ocean. Kiss your mommy. I love you. <laughs> I'm typically such a bubbly person that that when I'm depressed or I'm feeling down or I'm going through something, it's very obvious and especially to my children. So I really, really try my best to mask a lot of that feeling. Like obviously I want my kids to know about emotions and stuff like that. So they do know that I'm down, but I don't like to let it drag for too long because it affects them. You know, being around somebody who's not in a good space or their energy is negative and stuff like that. 
no matter what, if you're around it enough, it's gonna it's gonna affect you. So I always try my best to fight it, which it's also kind of like healing for me. It keeps keeps me grounded, make sure that I don't, you know, like I said, drown. Um, so yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to go through this day by day. Um day by day. I have my good days, I have my bad days. It's been less than two months since my grandmother passed away, so I feel like I'm still grieving and going through all of that. <laughs> Um, and I, I really need to give myself grace. And I think that if anybody's going through what I'm going through or feeling, just feeling down and just like not motivated and just, you know, I mean, I made videos, I made some content today, so it's not like I'm not motivated, but I just don't feel it. Like I'm just doing it just to keep myself busy so I don't drown. You know what I'm saying? It's versus excited to do it. And just like in this, in that space, um, you know, my lips are white. Yeah. I just in that space, I'm just not in that head space right now. And it's not easy but anyways i just wanted to come and spread how i'm feeling my children's are around there's one right there the other one is somewhere up that hill over there playing music with jada i'm gonna play with them for a bit hold on Doing good? Yeah. Mommy just needed a break, okay? Because mommy was tired. Okay. I'm about to end off this video. Fi do you want to end my video with me? Come. Okay. First, let's wipe your nose up because a lot going on. Okay. So, ready? What do we got to say? If this is the first time that you're watching my video, make sure you like subscribe share comment everything this video until the next video deuces deuces bye bye pieces bye